Hello and first of all on behalf of the entire Watches TV team, all our best uh, wishes for this new year. Thank you so much for being more and more watching us. Uh, thank you for your kind comments. Uh, this really uh, touches us and keeps us moving on. We have plenty of surprises for you in this uh, upcoming year. But before jumping in 2015, let us recall ourselves some of the nice souvenirs or the tendencies that we observed in 2014. So, on the business side, watchmaking is still going strong in Switzerland. It's still going to be another record-breaking year, but more in terms of value, in terms of money, than in terms of number of pieces that are being exported. So that just means that the average mean price of the watch is just rising slightly. What have we seen still? Well, we've seen that uh, watch brands are coming up uh, more and more with uh, new and clever innovation in the field of uh, movements, for instance, and in particular in the escapement systems of the watches. And this all goes in the direction of improving the overall quality of the watches for the public. Higher precision and a better power reserve. So we'll see where that will bring us to. It's probably still a bit further down the road. But nevertheless, it's interesting to see that the brands are really addressing those issues geared towards the end consumer. What other things did we see uh, in 2014? Well, we've seen a lot of contemporary art in the world of watchmaking. And why is that? Well, probably because contemporary art is just exploding as a business, uh, meaning that there's a lot of money there. And for the brands, it makes sense to go and a bit closer to where the money is. At the same time, some brands are doing actual uh, interactions interaction uh, with the world of art and contemporary art. We saw that with uh, Grebel for, for Safe, for instance. So we'll see how this tendency will uh, evolve in 2015. What about uh, our Man of the Year 2014? Well, we'll go with uh, Jean-Claude Beaver. It's a historical figure of watchmaking, but this year we've really seen him uh, step down from the operational role he had at Hublot to take over the overall watch division of LVMH with some significant uh, moves there in the, in the industry. So he's probably one of the best salesmen, watch salesmen out there. This is very important because with, without those sales, well, there wouldn't be any industry, as simple as that. So uh, we're going to see what impact it will have on Tag Heuer, for instance. In terms of the best watch of 2014, we're not going to be very original and we're going to follow a little bit what the Grand Prix d'Horlogerie has also designated at, at, as its watch meaning the Breguet 7727, because this one is a watch that really combines the, 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 the tradition and innovation that is so dear to many of the watch brands. But this time it's really, it's totally exemplified uh, by this watch that we think is a really nice watch. Uh, on the other hand, in terms of the nice little surprise of 2014 was the EMC from uh, uh, Urwerk for a little brand to come up with something as interesting, as innovative as that. We thought that really deserved a special applause. And last year was marked naturally by the 175th anniversary of Patek Philippe. You follow that on the Watches TV. But we also followed some of the crazy watch auctions that were held around this anniversary. Uh, Christie's putting together a special 100 Patek Philippe uh, a special auction. And Sotheby's coming up with the holy grail of uh, watch collectors, the super, the Graves super complications that fetched an incredible 22, almost 23 million Swiss francs uh, uh, at the auction, setting obviously a record there. As journalists we're often invited to attend events around the planet which is obviously really nice and during those events we often get a little uh, present uh, to mark this special event. So this year we want to uh, designate the best uh, uh, present that we've received throughout 2014 and this goes to Richard Mille with the incredible Richard Mille pétanque balls that we received during the Le Mans uh, classic competition that you've probably seen also on the Watchers TV. So well what uh, can we look for 2015? Well, we'll have plenty of nice uh, surprises for you. We're going to follow a bit what's going to happen also with the world of smartwatches because it will probably have an impact on the watchmaking industry as a whole. Uh, and we have plenty of new stuff coming up, so just stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for all your comments. Uh, if you want us to cover something, don't hesitate to contact us. Maybe we'll be able to take care of that also. So all the best for this new year and see you very soon.